Without further ado, we have the Buzz versus Nuggets. Now, player four being the resident. I play uh, both of these characters. Actually. So, how do you feel about this matchup, and what what think, makes it good or bad for both characters? Um, I think it's necessarily even. You gotta respect um the space <laughs> as oh man. Just getting pegged in the face. You actually snowballs. don't. You actually don't really care about that. But you just take the could, hit. Yeah, There's a good could. way to avoid that. It's called walking. Yeah. Just walk into it. Because he's trying to use these boom moves to, to outzone him. He doesn't want no smoke from Daisy because your punish game is so explosive. But you want to play in the zone that Nuggets is playing in against Palu. And you got to respect the Nairs. Which oh. ones? Daisy's or Palu's? They, um, both. Both. Because both. <laughs> Palu, Palu's Nair would, could poke through Daisy's shield. And Daisy doesn't have a really good option out of shield to like punish it. How useful do you think dash attack from uh, Palo Tena is going to be? Dash attack and back air, I should say. I think, it's really, use, I think it's really useful to zone break Daisy, because Daisy likes to move. And if you just catch her, like, during the empty hops, you're definitely just going to, she's going to have a bad time. Just Buzz has been relying a lot on these beat moves to zone out, but Nuggets has been winning the trades these two have been occurring. So I, I can't help but think he's got to be switching up his game plane slightly, maybe mix in between the zoning and just attacking with the Aegis. I don't, I don't know how uh, good it is on shield. I don't know if uh, Daisy can really punish it on shield if it's spaced correctly. All I know is that even though wow, Nuggets has been winning out on percentage, he loses the first stock. And I feel like it's worth noting that all these little interactions, Buzz is just getting more and more stage control from. Yes, he's got a return now on Nuggets, but free landings, all of a sudden, it's back to the same game plan. Lots of neutral pressure coming out from auto reticle. Explosive flame. DeBuzz not really having to put in a lot of effort to make Nuggets work for just getting his feet back on the ground. Yeah. I actually think this is one of the best stages for Palu in this matchup. This and Kalos. Because it gives her a lot of room to work with. If there's one thing also we know that DeBuzz excels at, it's keeping people in disadvantage and also ledge trapping. His ledge trapping was amazing in past iterations of Smash. It seems like he's figured out how to utilize Palutena's tools. He was actually really already nicely. dead. Yeah, he wasn't coming back. I guess better safe than sorry. Yeah, it's true. I don't, I don't think he knew. That's the only reason I can think of him keeping him alive. Yeah, the buzz definitely didn't pass um, trigonometry like that. <laughs> <laughs> can I have that power solo, man? That is, that is very disjointed. That, that actually got stealth nerfed. Nobody good, wants to talk about that. Good job uh, by the buzz. Nobody by wants to talk about correctly. how there's stealth nerfs and buffs. So what, what's the stealth nerf? So it's like a nerf that nobody knows about. What is it? They don't tell you what happened. Is it aesthetic or? Wait, no, so Peach's, so Peach's <laughs> dash attack got nerfed in one of the patches, mm -hmm. and nobody knew. Wow. Yeah, they not, just snuck not that by us. They were like, There's actually a lot of stuff way. like that. Um, for instance, something we could potentially see in this set if the buzz switches off of Palutena to Olimar. Olimar doesn't accredit any extra percentage off his smash attacks if he charges them. That happened in 2.0. Oh, that's right. It, nobody yeah. knows if that's a feature or a bug. We're taking the Bethesda knows, option brother. select right now. Nuggets, so cool. Trying to find some way in. He, once he finally gets in, I feel like his punish, he hasn't been taking his punishes as far as he can. The Buzz has also just been doing a great job of holding center stage. He's, yeah, he's got to be more fruitful off of these punishes. The dash attack, not going to quite do it. The spacing, this, that spacing particularly for dash attack is really, really scary. Because he, he can just get shield grabbed out of it. Yeah, but I don't, even if the Buzz somehow loses this game, he has, he, I'm just trying not to curse it. I don't think he's going to go all Lamar. Do you think Palutena is going to do better? Uh, yeah. I think she's Yeah, I think she's doing fine this match. Like you said, it looks fairly even. And the buzz just knows how to keep people in disadvantage and just, you know, step on them when they're when they're down. Nice. Similar how, to how many people wish Palutena would step on them. Why did you have to say it? <laughs> you know, why? Honest. we didn't even prompt you to say it. You prompted yourself. You you go back to doing your time. Hey, Devin has no you, problem with it. You go back Devin has no problem with it. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Press one if you pack that down. <laughs> Please get him out. Can we get Flam out? Can I get Flam out? Get rid of him. <laughs> nonsense. Actual nonsense. Is We're out here worshiping core values, all right? We are out here. We are going to Yoshi's Story for game two. <laughs> I, want, I want my Black History Month back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyways, Yoshi's story. Okay. So the buzz is showing a little bit more aggression this time. Now he's mixing up the uh, with auto reticle and Nair a bit on uh, Nuggets' shield. But I feel like he was doing just fine last time because waiting for Nuggets to come to him proved to be better. Because I feel like if you try to approach Peach way too much and you don't get the right uh, 
hit. Peach's punish game is so explosive that so much damage is going to get tacked up. Well, the issue is that Yoshi's story is not nearly as lateral of a stage as Stadium, so it doesn't invite that kind of pressure from Explosive Flame. There's a lot more um, of a problem of like Explosive Flame just overshooting its target, so Auto Reticle is going to be the premier tool for just keeping Daisy at a distance, and there, a lot of this matchup is just going to be the close range battle, which Nair and Forward Air are going to be able to poke away more at. For what it's worth, though, Nugget's doing a really good job of holding center stage. Yeah. I actually don't know any premier pals from this region, so kudos to him. Yeah, I can't think of any off the top of my head either, honestly. And fighting a well-studied Palo Tano like the Buzz, it's a it's a hard battle, but it shows that he's at least done his homework on what to do here. Yeah. I mean, if we if we know one thing about the Buzz is that he does his homework. He definitely asked me to play like the Buzz before professor. this. My guy used to go to locals in the back of comic book shops and, and do his economics homework mid bracket. That's true. So I mean, <laughs> we we know where we're at. That being said, Nugget's not getting too overzealous with his approaches, despite he's at a disadvantage right now. But DeBuzz is just so patient. I feel like Nuggets just can't find any way in. Well, a lot of it is that they got to trade for hits, which DeBuzz is going to win. Yeah. But he jumped from ledge. That's I don't know why he's jumping that's from ledge. No, that's a no no. That's the DeBuzz fault. Daisy loves when you jump. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy loves it, man. Jump one more time. The thing here is, I think Peach's floatiness actually hurts her a little bit because if yeah. she does whiff, Palutena can kind of blow her up, and the, the range that her aerials have, it's just able to catch Daisy on the on the back foot quite a bit. Like I feel like Daisy, Daisy has to commit a little bit. Are we gonna talk about how? What? Are we gonna talk In about that? In the name tech? of God, just happened. So What's the lip on story? And you can do that actually on any stage if you just try to hold in and you're close enough. I mean, I, can, I imagine it's like the hitbox that hits you for it, right, though? Like, if you yeah. hit the outer... Yeah, you have to get the hit by the inner one. Wow. Everybody, take a ride on the Nair train real quick. That was the quick. fakest reset. I'm just saying. The most American the of resets. The fakest resets of so many. I'm just saying, the buzz's MPS is pretty high right now. He's clocking in healthy numbers. These triplats hurting Nuggets a lot more than helping him. Like, he's just getting stuck on them, and he can't get down because Daisy is a little floaty. Yeah. And he's not doing a lot of Peach's high damage combos. He can't get really off a lot off dash attack. That's the thing. I think the punish game needs to be refined a bit more because that's what Peach thrives on, you know, getting one opening and just exploding the opponent. And Nuggets hasn't been able to take his, uh, his punishes too far. And when you're losing that many neutral exchanges, you have to have that solid punish game. So that's game two. This is a three out of five set. Yeah, so he's, he's still got some time to, to turn up. This is the last game he has to turn up right now. And it looks like he's going to go to Battlefield. So once again, we're going to see a tri-plat formation, but different base platform, different blast zones. Um, me personally, I feel like this is still going to fit into Buzz's favor, just off of how well he's controlling space. It's it seems difficult for Nuggets just to find his grounding. Did you just switch to girl? <laughs> Fred, switch up, dude. <laughs> he said, "All right, my I main like girl ain't doing it. Time to bring out the side chick." I like them blonde. <laughs> I mean, he's also wearing a shirt that says Peach on it. You'd think he'd have a little bit more he appreciation for his girl. I think somebody just found out that Peach is the side girl. Yeah, there we go. Somebody sent help. She's a side girl. Well, I mean, she might have been the committed relationship, but Daisy was like the, the little fling that happened, you know? Because he, he's repping Peach hard. But he's still chilling with Daisy. So. Honestly, at the rate this match <laughs> is going, that went from fling to ring. Daisy <laughs> looking a lot healthier than Peach <laughs> right now. It, it might have a difference. I don't know. I mean, P Daisy kind of just gave Peach a high five. Was like, all right, I'm tagging you. And it's like, what? And then she saw the opponent was the Buzz's palo, and was like, uh, can you put me back? <laughs> that being said, the Buzz, I'm gonna jinx it right here for sure. He has not been touched yet. Yeah, you're, you're gonna jinx it. I'm jinxing it. He's gonna do an auto reticle. He's gonna get slammed by a turnip. Right here, somewhere in this exchange, Nuggets is winning that. Y'all are bugging the Buzz. He doesn't want to give this up. That's Nuggets true, man. gonna win the, the next If exchange. I know the buzz, he's playing this sock like he wants to JV. <laughs> he wants to JV for him the entire time. Oh, I was wrong. All right. Well, I told you. I told you. He was still doing a great job of winning neutral, though. It, like he's. I mean, Nuggets is already at 146, and the buzz has been barely grazed as far as this goes. He got stepped on by Peach, man. Now my man's bringing out the A button. <laughs> Must have not had it on his <laughs> controller last game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, jokes aside, a very rough start to game three. For, uh, for Nuggets, but if he can get some damage going, keep control of the stage, he's able to fight it back, but look at how much ground he has to cover to try and bring back the set, let alone just this one match. 
the buzz. The buzz is walking all over this man right now. Like, Nuggets just can't find any breathing room, and when he does, he hasn't been able to nail his punishes. It's, it's part of, like, Peach being really, really good is patience and being able to microspace out of certain situations. But the buzz has been doing such a good job of alternating zoning while coming in for those hits with the Aegis that Nuggets is always kept guessing on what happens next. They're just both jumping around. Yeah. That's the match. Why did Fair, like, trade what? with the auto reticles? We'll talk about it later. I don't like that. What don't you like? Uh. Oh. I don't like that. This is not looking good for Nuggets right now. He's got he's got to pull something out of it. But I think the Buzz has just gotten such a great read on how to win neutral against this opponent. Yeah, he figured out Nuggets. Yeah, dude. My man, the whole the whole the whole ten piece Nuggets just got devoured. It's like Real yo quick. McDonald's. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> when he pulls up to the drive through, he's like, uh, "Can I get two daisies and what do you want, honey? Oh, a peach? Okay, cool." <laughs> And the drive-thru guy's like, what the hell is he talking about? We're going to serve fast food here. <laughs> I think the biggest problem is that Nugget's best bet to try and to change things up here is to slow down the pace of the match. But then you sit yourself in a camping war against the Buzz, who has already shown very early on into this set that he has the superior tools for covering a large distance and for racking up damage without any commitment whatsoever. So it's sort of a lose-lose situation for Nuggets, and I know. he's running out of opportunities to like luck out and try to run with the momentum. The raw damage done from Auto Reticle alone has to be astronomical this game because Nuggets has just been throwing out straight aerials and getting pretty much pegged for it every single time. Finally getting that first stock off. Some signs of life left for Nuggets, but is it too late? Might just be. He picked up the veggie. Okay, girl, you got chill there. It would have been cute. Oh. oh, I was expecting an up smash there. You want to flex. Oh, caught him off the jump. The buzz, don't do those back ears. You're not good enough for that. <laughs> That's rude. That's rude as hell. I, I, I tell the truth. That's rude as hell. I don't see you in top 48. I see Nuggets. But uh, <laughs> in winner's bracket, not for too much he longer. He's seeing stars right now. That was an excellently placed back air. The buzz picked him apart. That was brutal. You're definitely being top 48. For still, man. Nuggets still in it, though. And he, I've heard only good things about him from this region. So I have, I have no doubt that we'll be seeing him in later parts of the bracket. But for now, DeBuzz is going to take that. Look at that. Oh, I hear people yelling for Kofi. Is that my brother? Oh, let's go. Is it is time? Is that my brother? My brother. I'm so weak. Now.